You're watching Democratically Speaking. Mark Lindy, your host, and today we have a, another candidate, someone I've known a long time, Jerry Cassidy, who is running for the vacant state representative seat that um, Michael Brady held until he got elected to the Senate seat that our good friend, uh, the late Senator Tom Kennedy, held. Jerry, welcome to uh, Mark, Democratic thank you. Speaking. Thank you very Good much. Good to see you. I've Thanks seen for you us. for years and years working on all the different Tommy Kennedy yep. campaigns. And now, instead of being in the background, yep. you're going to be in the foreground. Right. Well, um, years ago, Mark, when we knew each other, I had blonde hair. Now I'm starting to get a little white hair. Oh, well, but at least you have hair, Jerry. Yeah, exactly. At least I have hair. No, you're better off than me. Yeah. Uh, in the forefront, it's a, it's a little different being uh, in the forefront where I actually wish I wasn't here, Mark, uh, with a... Uh, I wish Tom Kennedy was here, uh, you know, doing this uh, debate or uh, whatever, speaking uh, and to the people of Brockton. He uh, he sorely missed in my heart, and I, I know uh, we knew him uh, very well. And uh, every every day I go knocking on doors, uh, people say, "Hey, whoa, that's right, Tom has passed away." But uh, you know, I go to the same same doors that uh, we've we've gone through over the years. But moving forward, we're uh, um, I'm very very proud to uh, you know be here, Mark. Now, let's talk first the Jerry Cassidy story. You were used to the Tom Kennedy story and the other different campaigns that you got involved with. Yeah. Um, you're, not a, you're not someone that ever liked the limelight, okay? You, not, you, not sure of that. I was a city council here. So. Well, yeah, but you, you're humble. Yeah. How's that? Is that a better humble way to put it? Because when I was working with Tom Kennedy, that was, uh, that was my job, to uh, uh, be in the background and survey the whole uh, uh, crowd. Uh, have Tom. That was Tom's uh, Tom's job to uh, talk to the citizens of Brockton. I was I was the one who would be taking the notes and uh, do constituent services and uh, things like that. So you know I've helped a lot of people over the years. Do you think that was good prep for this for this job? I think so. I think Tom would uh, want me to run for this uh, seat. He was after the city council. He said, "Oh, why don't you run for state rep when I when I leave?" But uh, anyway, going like I said, going forward, we're. Uh, Meeting an awful lot of nice people out knocking on doors and uh, holding signs, and uh, it's just uh, you know third generation Brocktonian. Uh, my grandfather was a policeman here in the city uh, years ago. Never arrested anybody. He always knew the uh, the uh, kids' parents. Mm -hmm. That's when they'd go to their doors and different day it, was, age. it was a different different age altogether. But uh, you know there's there's some great people here in the city, and you know it's just 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 great to uh, great to be here, Mark. Now you handed me your good old punch card, yep. and three issues on here. There's more than that, but those are your issues. Talk about them. Number one, going on door, knocking on doors is public safety. You know, the other night, we had uh, four shootings in one night, you know, over on uh, Carroll, Carroll Ave, one street over from uh, where, where I live. Uh, it's, it's just like the wild, wild west out there. You know, we need to have more state police here in the city, and what I'm planning on doing is having the uh, DA's office uh, they'd like to move it into the federal building, which is right next to the parking garage, uh, which would bring, you know, 75 to 100 police, state police cars into the city of Brockton on a daily, uh, daily uh, uh, notice. Uh, you know, having state police cars in Brockton is, you know, a very good thing to do. And, you know, hopefully that, that would, uh, you know, just the police presence would be a great, great idea. Mm -hmm. that's, that's my number one thing is public safety and um, looking on here and senior citizens yes yeah the uh, senior citizens are the backbone of uh, Brockton you know they uh, they made uh, made Brockton great and they they, they are Brockton um, you know I'm I'm getting up there to the senior citizens age so uh, you know with home heating oil and uh, prescription drugs you know we need to work on that as far as the state uh, state goes now having handled some of the constituent services yeah. for Senator Kennedy you go, you're the ones. You're the one that got those calls. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, if a yeah. senior didn't know where to go, right, and they didn't call their city councilor, right, they called the state senator or state rep. Yeah. Talk talk about like a typical call that you might have got um, when you were there, and and you know how you were able to help resolve uh, it. Tom uh, Tom always had the open door policy. You know uh, the the actual door was open, so uh, people people would come and come and go, and he always had meetings down here in his uh, his home. Um, and I would do the same type of thing. The calls, you know, one, one, one day we had a uh, lady who called her um, house uh, caught on fire and uh, we arranged to uh, have her put up in a uh, hotel for four or five days. Mm -hmm. And that was basically out of Tom's pocket. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that was the type of guy he was and, you know, that's what I'm, I'm striving to be. Um, 
Do you think your association being involved with Senator Kennedy up on Beacon Hill is going to help the city of Brockton? Without a doubt, Mark. I tell you, the, uh, the Chairman of Ways and Means and the uh, Majority Leader are very, uh, very good friends of mine still to this day. And uh, I just had uh, something in Boston, an event that uh, they were sponsor. They sponsored, and they were, you know, hope that uh, I get elected. And not only that, but just uh, if elected, I uh, would hope that I would try to get on the Ways and Means Committee, which I know freshmen are not uh, uh, normally put in that position, but. Either that or uh, public safety would be my uh, uh, second or, you know, number, m number one would be public safety to have the uh, state police here in Brockton in the presence. It's, it's just, just crazy what people are doing here and we need to find where the guns are coming from and uh, go out there and uh, make sure they do, uh, do the right thing. Now, city council, two yep. terms. Yep. What got you back in the mix? I, I, I know, you know, we... We had the untimely passing of Senator yeah. Kennedy and then Mike Brady running for the Senate seat. But what got, what got you back in? What got me out, actually, when I was on the city council was, uh, uh, it was Christmas Eve and uh, we had like a bunch of family and friends over and uh, uh, this gentleman comes to the door and starts knocking on my door. So I was dealing with constituent services. The kids were very young at the time. And uh, I finally decided that, uh, you know, my wife and I talked that, you know, you can't have people coming to your door on Christmas Eve and, you know, dealing with the kids. So the kids were in the uh, fourth and fifth grade at the time at mm -hmm. the Kennedy School. Uh, what a great school that is. And uh, it just, uh, I decided to, uh, not to run then. So uh, now the kids are back. Uh, they're, they went to college, a uh, great school system here in the city. Um, they graduated from uh, college. They're working now, which is good, they're, except they're back home. It's the mm -hmm. only problem. You have to change the locks when they uh, <laughs> oh, when they when they graduate. But uh, uh, no, it's great to have them have them back. And uh, yeah, so I just decided at that point that you know it's time to get back in and help the citizens of Brockton. A couple of issues that are going on between the state and the city are the downtown college collaborative, the downtown college campus, and the Massasoit uh, new life sciences building that are both on hold. Yep. Okay. The governor decided he didn't want to bond it. They didn't want to borrow any more money. And Brockton's been waiting a while for the Massasoit one yep. and for the um, the downtown one's a, a new initiative, but it's been talked about all the way yep. back to the units administration. Yep. What could you do to get that to happen, to, to, to break that log jam, to perhaps get it here? Because there's UMass Lowell, there's UMass yep. Dartmouth, there's yep. UMass Amherst. Yep. I said to Billy Bulger once when he came down here, well, how about UMass Brockton? I said, you can take credit yeah. for it. It can be your idea, yeah. but we need it. What, what can you do or you perhaps do differently than the, the other two candidates that you're running against? Just, just my relationships on the House side. And uh, yesterday we had a meeting uh, uh, at the Chamber of Commerce, Metro South, and uh, Jay Ash spoke. He's the uh, uh, Secretary of Housing and Her Urban Development. And he's a good and dear friend of mine uh, from the State House. He used to work for uh, uh, Majority Leader Richie Volk. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was talking to him, and we were you know, talking about old times. And he'd like to help out uh, Brockton. But you know, in these, uh, these times, they uh, were looking to uh, cut the budget. They had to cut the budget somewhere, as far as uh, they were concerned, uh, on the, the Baker's administration. So that's what they did. They, they cut back on, on those, uh, those projects. Uh, but my relationships with, uh, you know, Secretary Ash and uh, others, I think I can, uh, you know, uh, talk to them, and not as a freshman, but a as a, uh, a friend, friend of theirs, which I know an awful lot of the uh, House members and the Senators. So, you know, I think that would help Brockton bring, bring a lot more money and uh, grants back to Brockton. Okay. Now, education. Yep. Uh, education Reform Act of either 1992 or 1993. Talking about reopening that act, changing the funding formula and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Brockton relies heavily on yes. state funding for education right. and we have a threat here of a charter school. Yeah. Okay. Talk about where you stand on charter schools, public education. You talked about the educational system with your two kids before. Yeah. What are your feelings on it? Yeah, charter schools, I spoke out against it over at uh, Massasoit and uh, it's uh, just not needed here in Brockton because uh, the, these, uh, these teachers are doing a phenomenal job um, and, uh, and it's 92 percent of the kids, Mark, uh, go on to college from Brockton High, and, and it's it's unbelievable. It's it's you have to keep on the kids, but uh, and the parents are working, doing just a, as a good a job. 
So uh, we have to applaud them uh, for uh, keeping on their uh, young young kids. And uh, I know I uh, took the MCAS test with my daughter at the uh, Kennedy School a few years ago, and uh, I don't think I passed, but uh, uh, it was uh, it was quite interesting. Um, so uh, we're, we're we're working on that. As far as funding goes, um, I could I could speak to the chairman of Ways and Means and uh, other issues like that. And what about working relationships with the other? Your other members of your legislative delegation. You have uh, two other state reps yep. and a state senator. How yep. would that work with Jerry Cassidy in the seat? I'm uh, uh, lucky enough to work uh, right now. Work uh, with uh, Senator uh, Mike Brady I'm on his staff. Uh, he's a wonderful, uh, wonderful guy. In fact, Tom Kennedy said, "If anything ever happened to me, make sure that Mike gets uh, gets elected." So I worked very hard on Mike's uh, campaign, and you know, Mike and I were served on the city council back in uh, 2000. Um, just a, on the side note, just another thing, uh, uh, Peter Marciano, he was, uh, he was on the city council, came in um, with me at the time, and I just want to say to the Marciano family, I'm very, uh, very deeply sorry about uh, Peter. He was a great guy, a good, good friend of mine. But also the other legislators, uh, you know, Claire Cronin, she's supporting my campaign. Uh, she's a very good, uh, good and dear friend. We grew up uh, two streets away on uh, Forest Ave. Mm -hmm. um, so that was, that was a great neighbor, and Michelle DeBoer, I know her very well. Now, Forest Ave at the time is, I, I always, there's a boundary. Forest parts Ave Ward 2 and Parts Board 3, if uh, I'm not mistaken? Three, yeah, 3 and 2, yeah. 3 and 2, yeah, yeah. okay, and the district, this is the Brockton district. The other yes. two districts yep. are Brockton and something else. Yep. So all 12 of the precincts are in, yep. in this district. Uh, lifelong Brocktonian helps in that capacity? Yes, so oh, I mean it, it's it's just great to help the community. Life of the third generation Brocktonian. My uh, grandparents, my father grew up on uh, Riverview Street over in 4D. My mother grew up on Dover Street, right across from Rocky Marciano. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Tom Kennedy, 92 Winthrop Street, uh, Forest Ave. You know, the whole the whole gamut of uh, the old old Brocktonians. But I've met so many nice new Brocktonians that uh, you know, very proud to call my friends. I wanted to also echo your comments on Peter Marciano. Yes. I went to the wake and went to the funeral. Very yep. tough. He was my Ward 1 counselor in the long line of good Ward 1 counselors and, uh, you know, uh, know his dad very, yep. very well and uh, broke my Six. heart, actually. To I mean, it's hard enough to go to Tommy's funeral. That was <coughs> tough. Yeah. You, you, you know, you got to pay the respect, but yep. too young, 48 yep. years old. Yeah. is, is yep. too Wonderful. And nice family, nice kids. Um, Talk about um, issues that are hitting the city pretty hard. Um, talk about the uh, governor, the mayor. Everybody's been a part of this with the opiate ac epidemic, okay? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of activity. There was just a movie over at the War Memorial the other day. Um, it's a big issue for not only Brockton, right. but wealthy communities, yeah. poor communities, doesn't matter. Yeah. What type of insight do you have to that? What, what, what would you try it's to do as a, as a, a legislative leader to um, help people? I know the, uh, the, the House just uh, took it up yesterday, the governor's, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the Senator's uh, uh, version of the, uh, uh, the bill that the governor put before. And uh, I know they're going to go through a conference committee. It was a unanimous vote on the, uh, the bill. So they'll go for a conference committee probably within the next month or so. And uh, hopefully I'll uh, be elected and be able to vote uh, vote for the uh, for the bill to uh, help you know these uh, people are it, it's an illness that you uh, that that uh, some of these people have and you you have to feel feel awfully uh, sorry for them. But on the other side too, the uh, you know they get knock in and they go over to Brockton Hospital in the emergency room and uh, some of them you know they're awful awful to the emergency room nurses and uh, staff. I mean they're. they're it's very difficult for the, uh, the staff, and uh, a few hours later they're back on the street and uh, doing the same thing. I, I talked to a nurse the other day. They came, one person came back three times in the same day. Mm -hmm. for, uh, so it is an illness, and we're uh, we're working on it at the uh, state house. Now you were mentioning to me before we were on here on the set, actually recording the program, homelessness. Yes. Okay, talk about that. Talk about what kind of an ink impact you could have as a state rep, uh, what maybe you've been involved in in the past with the senator? Uh, with the senator, he was, uh, he was awfully kind to an awful lot of uh, people here in, in, in Brockton, just, uh, not just the homeless, but everybody, but uh, anytime I'd see anybody uh, walking down the street, the, 
that he knew he'd have me pull over and uh, would, uh, you know, give him 10 bucks or just, you know, hand warmers. I've been giving hand warmers out to the uh, uh, people here in the city. It's, it's, it's. One of my staff wants the hand warmers for the hockey games. All right, okay. well, I will. Okay. okay, because it gets pretty cold in these half skating rink. Yes. But I noticed that. That was at the, the, the senior uh, yeah. holiday party. Yeah, well, it's it just, uh, just a nice thing to do, and uh, I think everybody in, the, in Brockton should, uh, you know, stand up uh, for, for the, uh, the homeless group. Um, we're working on a daycare uh, center here in uh, Brockton, so uh, some of these people can uh, just uh, go into a nice warm building. I know the mayor's working... Uh, pretty hard on uh, issues like that. I was talking to him yesterday about it and uh, I'm meeting uh, across the street here uh, tomorrow morning uh, with a bunch of uh, people. So, I mean, the, the father across the street, uh, he's doing a phenomenal job. Uh, they were actually looking to do things like they do in Mainspring, walk up and down uh, Main Street, cleaning up the street and, uh, you know, they, they want to stay active. So. I don't know if you know this or not, but when my dad retired from state service, he was the director at Mainspring for 18 months. Was he? Yeah, really and they weren't too sure because he was a parole officer back in the day and then yeah. a supervisor and then director. They thought he was going to run it like a prison camp. Yeah. We couldn't get him home. Yeah. He was staying yeah. after hours with the, yeah. the, the children and the women that were there and trying to make sure that it was a safe place. It's like, Dad, are you going to come home for dinner or yeah. are you going to be there? Um, it, it just touched me even last week, Mark. I went to uh, uh, across the street, the church next to uh, Irving's, and uh, even if I uh, lose, I would uh, definitely go down on Friday mornings every every week, and they hold meetings, and uh, it, it's it's just a moving moving thing that uh, it stays with you. Let me back up a minute. How does the family feel about this now? You got that knock on the door on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Are they saying? Oh no, not again! Or are they jumping in wholeheartedly? Uh, they're, they're, they're jumping in wholeheartedly. Let me tell you, it, it's wonderful to have my wife and uh, two children, uh, you know, uh, back uh, back in the fold as far as uh, help, helping the citizens, of Brockton. It's not not about me. It's just about uh, you know, we're Brocktonians. My wife was uh, born and raised, and you know, we're uh, I'm not moving anywhere. Maybe over to Calvary Cemetery. That'll be my next move. I've heard that one yeah, from yeah, a couple yeah, of people yeah. over there. So um, differentiate yourself a little bit from the other two candidates. You have two city councilors that are running. Um, you have legislative experience in, in community service. What, 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 what's different about you that you want to tell the voters? As we know, uh, uh, Tom, uh, Tom Kennedy was, was speaking. I'm more of a listener. I listen uh, quite well and uh, take notes down. And uh, I get things done. You know, I believe in Brockton. That's uh, that's uh, my number one thing. And the the difference is I I have the relationships that I can hit the ground running. Um, you know, at the uh, the state house with the majority leader and the next speaker that I uh, um, going to be very very good friends with. And you know, an awful lot of colleagues uh, uh, in the uh, state house are good friends. And I have a lot of endorsements that uh, you know uh, I'm very very proud to have. Do you want to talk about some of the endorsements? No, uh, just uh, it's oh, are you going to forget names? It's if embarrassing. You do that. Okay. I, yeah. um, now I know part of the whole thing when you're running, since I ran yep. for rep, is endorsements. Okay. There are there are you go and have those questionnaires and yep. the interviews and stuff like that. Yep. Um, there are some local group. I mean, I, what comes to mind to me is. Mike Brady got a lot of endorsements. Mike yep. Brady had Mass Nurses Association, Mass Teachers Association. I know they've been interviewing the candidates. Is, I mean, I don't want to make you do yeah, any breaking no. news here or anything, but any any you want to look at? I'm on, I'm on, at? on the same path as uh, Mike Brady. We're, okay. uh, we're uh, on the same. Okay. You know, the Brockton firefighters have endorsed me. Uh, you know, that's that's the proudest one that I'm 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 proud of because these gentlemen and ladies, uh, you know, the Brockton firefighters endorsed my campaign. And Mark, as you know, how many times they came into Tom Kennedy's house for uh, when he wasn't feeling great, and just the uh, dignity that they they showed uh, uh, Senator Kennedy and Representative Kennedy at the time uh, over the years it, it, it's un unbelievable. So these these gentlemen should be uh, you know patted on the back every time you see them. I believe Archie even went all the way up to Nova Scotia. Yes. Afterwards, uh, he's. Uh, what was interesting is during the last campaign, there was another Gormley running, and there was no relation right, whatsoever. Right. And when I heard that he was running, I'm like, "Are you, are you related to Archie?" Yeah. yeah. He said uh, no, and I said, well, "It's not going to hurt." Yeah. I got. I've got the uh, AFL-CIO and you know a number of other uh, uh, endorsements, but the Brockton firefighters are without a doubt the, the biggest and uh, most humble by uh, having their endorsement. Um, what have you heard? I mean, it's kind of hard to campaign in the middle of the winter when it's cold out. 
okay? But you've gone out there and you've right. talked to people. What have you heard from the voters? What are the, their issues? Similar issues? Are there other issues? What are people talking to you about? Hasn't been uh, the weather. Has, knock on wood. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't been that uh, hasn't been that bad. So uh, hopefully we won't have to use the snow blow as February second uh, election day. Mm -hmm. But uh, what have I heard? It's basically the uh, the public safety. You know, these these shootings are the number one issue in the Brockton. I mean, then they always go to the uh, um, the uh, opioid uh, addiction. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, I safety is without a doubt. I know the mayor is trying very hard. The uh, police are uh, doing doing their job, but. I really firmly believe that if the uh, uh, DA's office moves over to the, uh, that spot and the, you have more state police, it, it helped uh, Chelsea, uh, Secretary uh, Ash. He was saying that uh, when the FBI moved uh, uh, downtown Chelsea, it changed the whole outlook on, uh, on the city. So that's what we need to do here, here in Brockton, have, have the Middleborough barracks move right, up here to, uh, to Brockton. That's what uh, that building's for. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what, what issues we might not have covered. Um, I had so many, I used to rattle them all yeah. off. I also learned the speeches of both the, peop the, the, yeah. the three people I ran against after yeah. a certain yeah. while. I ended up in 10 debates and yeah. lots of forums. Well, you're and full of knowledge, like Mark, I tell you. You, well, you get all it, these it, flyers. It, it's, in, it's, inter yeah. it's an interesting process yeah. because being, I mean, I got involved. Uh, Tommy was one of the first campaigns I ever got involved in. I didn't even live in Ward 2. I lived in Ward yeah. 1. Um, I took an action politics class in 1976. Yeah. Marge Donovan taught it. She was the oh, teacher's yeah, yeah. union president yeah. afterwards. Yeah. And and uh, Linda Belzotti was in that class with me. Yeah. And we had to work on all of the campaigns in 1976, the Democratic yeah. campaigns, when the Democrats all came back and yeah. swept Plymouth County because it was a very Republican county at that point. Um, What's different nowadays to, 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 to back then, okay? I mean, it was old-fashioned. You think about the Tip O'Neills yeah. and the yeah. All Politics is Local. There are new, there, there's new parts to this. There's, there's Facebook. There's yeah. Twitter. Yeah. There's all of that stuff. Yeah. And uh, you and I are in the same age yeah. group. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. kind 20, of barely literate on yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. 21. There you go. Yeah. Um, but um, I, I get told... Um, you have an AOL address, Dad. Yeah. AOL is yeah. older Americans yeah. online, older is Americans. what my kids used to always joke to yeah. me about. Yeah. But how's how's it different? You you you're you're kind of a student of politics too. You you kind of grew up with it. Yes, uh, I mean it was, it, it's funny, Mac, as we talk about that. Um, we we're talking about putting signs up, and then I started talking about the uh, wooden signs. You know, the wooden signs with the frames we had to build yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, it was a, seems like just a short time ago. Mm -hmm. you, know, you get the uh, and start banging them into the ground. But uh, a little difficult, uh, you know, this year with the uh, thawing, uh, the, the ground being so frozen. But uh, the, we have the new wires. But nowadays, uh, it's uh, all Facebook. Uh, a lot of it is Facebook. So as I'm going around, I'm telling people I'm uh, not really, uh, uh, I'm a fa I do have Facebook, but uh, I'm more, more of a face-to-face uh, uh, -face as opposed to door-to-door. Uh, -door. I mean, uh, Facebook. Face to face, face versus to face, face versus that's Facebook. Good. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's what I'm using, which is true. You know, I'd rather talk to somebody in person. Than, uh, than being on Facebook and mm -hmm. so. Now, if somebody wanted to get in touch with you, be involved in the campaign, website, phone number, things like that, tell us. Yeah, it's uh, Brockton, uh, Cassidy for Brockton uh, at, uh, at uh, gmail.com and you can just reach me on uh, Facebook also, uh, Cassidy for Brockton, uh, F-O-R. And uh, phone number is 508-345-8660. Okay. And um, we're hoping to see all of you guys. Uh, I know the, that the ATD is doing a debate. Yes. We're, we're talking about doing yep. one, and the chamber's doing one. So you get yeah. to yeah. compare yeah. and yeah. contrast the candidates, which is always good. Yeah. Um, anything I haven't touched on or anything that you want to touch on that uh, is, is really important to you? Just, just reaching out to everybody here, Mark, you do a great job here for the city. I, I tell you, we're very, uh, very lucky to have you. I know. Uh, in the city, and just to uh, the information is uh, uh, very uh, easy to get out with a, with a TV like this. And uh, I remember you guys were across the street years ago with a Lou Russo Comcast a uh, mm -hmm. number of years ago. My goodness, uh, time flies when you're uh, having fun. And you know the uh, the citizens of Brockton, I um, just want them to vote uh, on uh, the uh, second February second. Okay. Well. I don't know what we have for left for time. I don't know, five minutes, but I, I don't want to cut you short at all. We, we, we try really hard to make sure everybody yep. gets the same sure. time. Um, let, me, let me ask you this. Um, 
community activities, you've been involved in the community for years by helping Senator Kennedy. What other types of activities, like at, at the church or, or any, I don't know if you had time for a hobby, so. Yeah, well, with the kids, you know, it was basically with the, uh, the Brockton, Brockton High, uh, Brockton school system, you know, uh, doing all kinds of uh, PAC meetings and uh, uh, just uh, the, being involved in the, uh, the school system. Uh, you know, the cleanup of uh, Edgar's Pack with uh, Jenny, Jenny Curtis. Mm -hmm. uh, what a wonderful lady she was. And, uh, you know, we just have so many nice people here in the city. Uh, uh, been at very active. The Democratic City Committee for um, how many years? 20, somewhat, 25 years? Oh, yeah. Something like that. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's changed too. You know, the uh, city of Brockton, we need, to, you know, on the Democratic side, we need some young kids to step up and be in, in that uh, committee. Get involved when... Yeah, that's what Alan Pestovich always says, you know, make, make sure we get these young kids and, Absolutely. involved. Uh, you know, a number of other, other uh, committees and, you know, just dealing with the, the kids, family and friends. Well, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. If you want to look at the camera, talk directly to the voters, tell them why Jerry Cassidy and uh, remind them to vote. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, February 2nd is the election day. Uh, I hope you uh, come out and vote for uh, Jerry Cassidy, the uh, 9th Plymouth District. I worked with uh, Tom Kennedy uh, for 28 years, and I think that uh, with my uh, friends at the uh, State House, I think we could bring back a lot of uh, funds to Brockton uh, for the, uh, you know, just uh, the public safety is our number one issue. And I know with the relationships uh, that uh, we, can, we can do that, hit the ground running. Uh, I hope we do, uh, uh, don't have any snow on uh, February, 20, February 2nd. That'd be great. Uh, but uh, thank you. Thank you very much for having me, and this is wonderful, Mark. Glad to have you, Jerry. Thanks thank for you. all you do. Uh, you're watching Democratically Speaking. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more election coverage here on Brockton Community Access. We will be out there uh, prior to the election, and uh, don't forget, no excuses. If you don't vote, don't complain. Thanks for joining us.